Hey there, Mercedes here from PrettyWebs.com and today we're going to be working on a glitter effect Photoshop brush. This one is going to be a gold leaf style using the pattern stamp tool. Now I am going to be using a pattern that I've shown you how to make on this channel before. It's a gold glitter style pattern. So if you're interested in learning how to make that, I'll go ahead and link that up in the corner and down in the description for you. Otherwise, you'll just need a gold glitter pattern in order to create this brush. So let's go ahead and get started by first creating a pattern. We're going to come up here to File, New. I'm going to start with a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel 72 resolution RGB 8-bit document. And then I'm going to go ahead and click create and we're going to come over here to the layer panel and I'm going to unlock this layer. So I do have my foreground background default right here. If you don't go ahead and click on that little icon right above the color palette, press option and delete or alt and delete on a PC to fill that with the foreground color black. Now we're just going to come up here to filter noise add a noise and our amount is going to be 50% distribution is Gaussian and make sure that monochromatic is checked off and click OK. Now we're coming back up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Our radius for this is going to be 1.5 pixels. OK from here press command and the letter L on your keyboard or control and the letter L that's going to bring up the levels here. And all we're going to do is bring these sliders closer together. I'm just trying to get something that looks like stars. So if you've ever created a galaxy style or, you know, something like that, that's exactly what we're doing here. So just kind of bring them together until you get something um, that looks like a star field. So for this one, I'm going to leave it at 61 for my shadows. My midtones are 1 and my highlights are 111. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Make sure that that layer is selected and Command J twice, Control J on a PC, just to duplicate that layer. I'm going to start with this top layer and I'm going to come up here to Filter, Blur, motion blur. My angle is going to be zero degrees. My distance is 10 pixels and I'm going to click OK. Then I'll come up here to the mode for the layer and choose screen. Come to the next, that middle layer right there. Go back up to filter. I'm going to go all the way down here to blur. Go to motion blur because they do want to make some changes to it. So my angle here is going to be 90 degrees for this one. And I'll keep my distance at 10 pixels and click OK. And again, we're going to change this one to screen. So all this did was just brighten the original stars. I just wanted something brighter. So I'm going to grab that first one, hold the shift key and grab the bottom layer. So all three layers are selected. Command and the letter E, Control and the letter E. That's going to merge all three layers together. From here, I'm going to press Command and the letter I, Control and the letter I on a PC to invert that selection. And then I'm going to come up here to Edit, Define Pattern. This is just for this demonstration, so I'm not going to name it at all, but I'm going to click OK. And that's going to save that to my patterns. So I don't need this anymore. I'm just going to come here to File, New, and start with the new document. This time a 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel. Again, I'm going to work with a resolution of 72. If you're going to be using this brush for print, you can change your resolution up to 300 RGB. 8-bit is fine. And go ahead and click Create. I'm going to unlock this layer. And I still have my foreground background at default. So I'm going to press Option and Delete. Again, we're just filling it with black because it's easier to see on a black surface. So I'm going to add a new layer here. And we're going to start creating the brush. Okay, we're going to come here to our brushes. If you don't have this icon here, you can come up here to Window, Brushes, and it will open up for you. Uh, what I'm going to do is come over here to Legacy Brushes. I'm in Default Brushes and I'm going to be using the basic hard round brush for this. So make sure that that brush is selected. It is part of your basic brushes so you should have it. If you don't, um, you can come up here to the little hamburger menu and then choose Legacy Brushes right here. 
and that's going to bring up all your legacies including all of your defaults so with this brush selected i'm going to come here to my brush settings again if you don't have this you'll come up here to window brush settings there and that's going to bring that up for you so we'll go ahead and create some settings here for this brush all right we're going to start here in brush tip shape and our size for this is going to be 35 pixels you can make this wider if you want i do want a smaller path for my flakes so i'm just going to leave it at 35 pixels and my spacing i'm going to bring down to one percent if you want less flakes you can bring your spacing up but i want as many as i can get so i'm going to just leave it at one percent now i'm going to come in here to shape dynamics and my size jitter i'm going to change that to 40 percent and i'm going to make sure that my control is on pen pressure so this is going to be important when you're drawing with your tablet it's going to look more realistic uh, with the pen pressure turned on so make sure that that's on everything else is going to stay as it is at zero and we're going to click on scattering for scattering i'm going to make sure that both axes is not checked i'm going to change this here to 500 percent and then i'm going to change my count here to five everything else here can stay the same now we're going to come here to texture so click on the little drop down right there and it's going to show you all the patterns that you have saved to your computer we're going to choose this one this is the very last one that we created our scale here is going to be 250 percent our brightness is going to vary a little bit and so is the contrast so we'll just skip that for now we're going to come here and make sure that texture each tip is selected and our mode is subtract so now we're getting something closer to that flake here Make sure that your depth is 100% and then we're going to make some adjustments to the brightness. Your texture may have some differences to mine. You do need to make sure you're paying attention to brightness and contrast here. So for this one, if you start seeing this stuff like halos around here, then you're going to increase your brightness but the more you increase it the less flake you're going to get so i'm going to just bring this down to actually i'll just go ahead and leave it at zero and then i'll leave my contrast at 30 i think it looks pretty good there but you can you know work with this to see what you like but once you start getting the halos you want to you know bring that up so i'll go ahead and leave this at about 30 for this brush and that's pretty much it for that make sure that buildup is checked off smoothing is checked off and protect texture is checked off and then we're going to come here to the hamburger menu and choose new brush preset here it's important that we don't include tool settings so just make sure that that's not checked you can capture the brush size that's fine you can always change that if you uh, need a bigger brush so i'm going to name this brush gold flake one and click OK so I, now I have that saved okay for this next step you need to make sure that you have your glitter pattern set as a pattern inside of Photoshop so I have brought this in this is the gold glitter pattern again you can find a link to this in the description but once you have this in and it's the only thing showing here on the canvas you can come up here to edit define pattern and just make sure that this you save this as a pattern inside of photoshop so i'm just going to call this gold glitter i'm going to add a color overlay so i'm going to do like a pink glitter so something like this as well i just want to show you uh, you know a few different options so i'll go ahead and click okay so um, you can add that color overlay and then come back in here to edit define pattern and this one is going to be rose gold so we have both of those patterns saved i don't need this anymore so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and i'm going to add a new layer so this is where we're going to test our brush so this is the brush that we created a while ago it's not much to look at but when we add that glitter you're going to see all the difference so i'm going to come here to the pattern stamp and up here when you click on that up here you're going to see all of these different options you can see i already have that pattern in there but i'm going to show you how to add it okay so the first thing we're going to do is make sure to choose our the correct brush 
So I have that gold flake brush that I just created. I'm gonna go ahead and choose that brush. And our mode is normal for this. Opacity 100, flow 100. And then we're gonna come to this drop down menu and choose the pattern that we just created. I wanna add an important note here that I didn't add in the original video. So I'm just gonna add it here quickly. But uh, when I created these brushes, I forgot a very important step, and that is to uncheck this right here, Impressionist. Make sure that is unchecked. It's not going to make a difference in the brushes that we created, not much of a difference, but um, it does give you a crisper look. So I'm going to just show you an example here, the gold leaf pattern stamp. This is what it looks like with Impressionist turned on. I'm going to zoom in so you can see what that looks like. And you can see that you're still getting that gold color, but you're not getting that crisp glitter look. What I'm going to do is come back over here to this brush, uncheck Impressionist, and I'm going to show you that same brush without that. So you can see that you're getting much more of that glitter pattern in there, which is what we want. So I just wanted to add that to this video. It's very important. Just make sure that Impressionist is not on if you want a crisper, brighter glitter foil. Just know that Impressionist is on for the rest of the video. I don't want that to be confusing. Just know that for this style that we're going for right here, this gold flake, make sure that Impressionist is turned off. And now I can come in here and I have that glitter. So right here I'm using my mouse and you can see it, it has that very distinct line. I'm going to make another line using my tablet and you can see the difference. So if you have a tablet, this is going to work out much better. In order to save that gold flake in there, we're going to come back over here to the brushes and I'm going to save this brush as a new brush preset. For this, I want to make sure that I include that tool and include the pattern. That way, when I come back to this, I'll always have that pattern set in there so I don't have to do clipping masks and all that stuff. I'll just have a gold flake brush. So I'm going to call this gold flake and then I'm going to click OK. So I've just added that a brush here at the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is come back over here to the patterns, choose that pink color and that's going to make this rose gold. So we can come back in here to the hamburger menu inside of our brushes. Click on that and choose new brush preset for this one. All of the same things, capture brush size, include tool settings, and include the pattern should all be selected for this. And I'm going to call this rose gold and click OK. Okay, so now you can see down here at the bottom how it has this little tool right here. I'm going to come over here, get rid of all of this. And I'm in my regular brushes right now. So you can see it's just giving me that regular, you know, that, that regular white color. Uh, but what I want is my brush that's going to have all of that color loaded onto it. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to choose my gold flake pattern stamp. That's going to select the pattern stamp right here. That way it's already preloaded. I'm going to come here to my uh, rose gold and I have my rose gold loaded too. If you have any questions about creating this brush, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll make sure to answer those questions. If you learned something in this video, make sure to like it, share it with a friend. And if you like this type of content, subscribe down below so you don't miss another video. And head over to prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.